morning. Today is Wednesday, April 2nd, and let's take a look at the stock Q, Quintiles Transitional Holding. We've been talking about this for quite a while, if you recall. Remember here? Market's been consolidating. We bought this breakout, right? We bought the breakout, which finally occurred the other day, okay? Just two days ago, market broke out to the upside, right? $50.58, or you could have just bought the call, right? An in-the-money call, a deep-in-the-money call. It's completely up to you. Um, but the price of the underlying trigger point was $50.58, uh, with an initial catastrophic stop at $49.61, only risking $0.97 cents on this. Yesterday, we made a high of $51.54. Close at 51.11. Uh, right before the open here, it's about 51.20. I'm going to keep that stop at 49.61. Now, what I'll do is if the market's able to penetrate up through yesterday's high of 51.44, even by a penny, what I'll do at that point was I'll, I'll then move my stop up below the intraday low, okay, to lock in some profits or at least to go to break even on this trade, okay, just in case we don't make the move that I'm expecting to the upside. Remember that first profit target is $51.98. All right, so that's my game plan for today on the stock Q. The next one I want to take a look at is ECL, Ecolab, ECL. Now, if you recall, this one was actually a pretty classic trade setup too. All right, trend is up, market pulled back, we're at the 50 exponential. Uh, we've got a tight little inside vertical bar here, if you recall, right? So we went long as the market penetrated up through that high. So the trigger point was 107.18. 107.18 with the initial catastrophic stop at 105.88 below this low. Then yesterday we moved that stop up to 107.42 to lock in a little bit there. And then what I'm going to do now, and the market never took us out, the market made a low of 107.74. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go 10 cents below yesterday's low of 107.74. I'm going to go to 107.64. So I'm going to lock in about a half a point on this trade. So there's no way for me to lose on this trade. Okay. Um, now it closed at 108.66. Now take a look at this, folks. Look at 108.66. The high was 108.60. Well, what was? It? Let's see. So we're looking right in here. All right, oops, let's see. Take a look at this. The high yesterday was 108.67. Do you recall what the first profit target was that I said yesterday? That first profit target was 108.71. All right, went up to 68. Missed it by three cents. Now I had a sell limit to exit at 108.71 on a limit, and it just missed it, right? Looks like we might be opening at 107.99, we'll see. So yes, can that be frustrating? Absolutely, especially when you miss a profit target by only three cents, right? Now that was set in as a limit, a sell limit, to take me out automatically when it hit that price on just a portion of my position, of course. So now I've got a sell stop at 108. 107.64 rather. So these two trades, not too bad. And then one other I want to point out to you real quick, UA, UA, Under Armour. And this doesn't report until later in the month, but as you can see, we're really consolidating here, okay? We pull back in that blue action zone. We've got some major consolidation going on here with very small contracted ranges. Average true range is about $3.23 over the last 21 days. We've been seeing about a two-point range the last three days. So keep an eye on this. If the market's able to break up through 116.22 to 116.44, that could be a nice setup to the upside as well. So hope that helps. Uh, as you recall, the E-mini S&P 500 all-time high yesterday, we took out that high. Um, actually, by one full point, the all-time high was one, or 1877 and three quarters. We ran up and took it out by a point, 1878 and three quarters. So again, another record high. So we've broken up through the highs. And we actually closed on the absolute high of 1877 and three quarters. And after hours right now, it's trading at about that price right now. So today will be very interesting. If we're able to push through by a few points the, uh, the all-time high, 
and of course yesterday's high, which made the all-time high, I think the, this market could explode, okay, to the upside. So let's see if we if we have follow through to the upside or uh, what we do here, okay? Have a profitable day. Bye for now.